Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. If you are looking to become a system administrator, we are going to go over the certifications that are highly recommended that you at least look into, if not take some of them, to become a sysadmin. So in this video, I'm really only trying to reach everybody out there who has kind of no knowledge of IT, who may be changing their careers or just highly considering IT as their career choice. And if system administration sounds like fun to you, then these certifications can definitely help you get to that path sooner rather than later. So if you are completely new to IT, I would highly suggest that you check out my first video that I did here. Uh, it's the top IT certifications for newbies or new people to IT. And I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can check it out. So the certifications that we talked about in the newbie video, those are definitely recommended as well if you're looking to go down the system administrator path. The A+, Net+, Security+, and Linux+, and the MTA certifications can definitely help you go down the system administrator path if that's what you're looking to do. But the other certifications that we didn't talk about are the Cloud+, Plus, which is from CompTIA, and of course, Server+, Plus, which is also from CompTIA. Both of those certifications definitely give you the fundamental knowledge and what you need to know about them, how to set one up, what the cloud does for you, how the cloud works, how you utilize a cloud environment. The other certs that are definitely highly recommended are the MTA or the MCSA certs, and they will definitely help you down this, this sysadmin path because you, know, you can do your uh, MTA or MCSA server 2016, you could do your MTA or MCSA uh, cloud, and those, of course, are going to really help you in your quest to become a sysadmin. There's also the AWS uh, Associate Cert, which is really geared towards the Amazon Web Services, which is a cloud platform that is really widely used nowadays, so you can look into that as well. There is the Google Cloud, which is another cloud platform, um, and you can get a cert from Google for that. Again, they're gonna show you everything that you would need to know about the Google Cloud platform. If Linux is the path that you are looking to take, they have an Oracle Linux System Administrator certification that you can look into, and of course, look into that Linux Plus beforehand if you have no prior knowledge of Linux, and that can definitely help you if you get into a Linux environment. Another Linux certification is the RHSA, which is the Red Hat Sysadmin certification. And that one is definitely really, really big. Red Hat is one of the highest paying uh, career paths right now that you can look into. And the last certification on this list is the VMware cert really gets you into that virtualization. VMware offers a tool that basically lets you virtualize your entire environment. Think of it also as a cloud type of application, but you can actually have one server on site that hosts multiple different servers from one using VMware tools. So again, this was just basic certifications that you should at least look into if the system administrator path is the one that you wanna take. If you guys wanna know more knowledge about some of these different certs and you wanna dive deep into them, I'll make another video about that. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see and we will work our way towards that. If you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. I'm okay with that too. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, take it easy.